hello guys and welcome back to my channel i know i know i know it has been a while i have had so many things that has been going on guys and it's just been busy like super busy um i also have a cake business on the side so my cake business has been doing very well so i've been really busy with that um also I just have so much to talk about with you guys today i'm gonna try to get it all in this video and i'm gonna try to make sure that it's not very very long but i know i have a lot to talk about i posted a video i want to say about a month ago in that video i talked about um my visit to the doctor and what my doctor was saying i talked about this tea called high frequency tea that I was on a 14 day detox. We're gonna talk about that. We're also going to talk about what my doctor has me doing now, what's been going on with me lately, and um, what the plan is moving forward with trying to conceive. I'm sorry, y'all, this hair keeps falling and it's irritating me. But what the plan is um, moving forward trying to conceive. So, I can say as of lately, I haven't, um, I haven't been doing any teas and that's only because I did the 14 day tea and I also did the PCOS tea that they had with the PCOS, PCOS tea and the 14 day cleanse. I did them right after each other that brought my cycle on, um, again, the next month within within the range I would say because I don't have a 28 day cycle I think my cycles are more so like 49 days because of my PCOS but it brought it on I didn't have to take Prevera anymore it brought it right on also um, what else I can't say with, okay with the high frequency T I'm sorry I'm all over the place because I'm excited and I got a lot to share with you guys but I don't want to make the video long and drawn out because I don't want to lose your attention. So with the high frequency tea, I have to say it is not the best tasting, but the benefits are worth it. Ladies, the benefits are worth it. Um, I work every day from, well, not every day, but I work four days a week from 4.30 a.m. to 3 o'clock p.m. And by me working that schedule, doing the high frequency tea i would have to brew the tea at night steep it um i would just pour hot water over the loose leaf tea in a um, mason jar and steep it once i steep it i get up in the morning i drain um the actual tea loose tea off of it pour it back in there and drink it i they give you like two hours to drink it because when i tell you ladies it is not the best tasting it is the most disgusting thing I've ever tasted but I can say after a couple of days my body's and my palate my tongue started to get used to the taste so it wasn't as horrible as it was the first day the first day I didn't think I was going to make it so what I would do is just hold my nose and kind of try to chug it um, and I did that maybe in about three or four increments of chugging it until the whole 32 ounces were gone um, I did find it helpful that if I squeeze the lemon in it, um, no, if I squeeze the lemon and juice the lemon and drunk it right before I drank the tea, it kind of washed out my palate too so that um, the tea didn't taste as bitter because it's very, very bitter. You can't put any sugar in it, so you have to drink it as is to get the benefits. And if you want it to be as potent as it is, you want to drink it as is. So that's what I did. Um, I noticed that I started losing weight um, by doing this because you can only eat raw vegetables. Um, so you're on a raw vegan diet the 14 days or if you decide to do the 21 day um, for the duration of the tea. I, I lost about, I want to say about 12 pounds my first week and my second week. I think I lost about, I want to say it was like 10 or 11. It wasn't as much as I did the first week but that's really good to do it in 14 days um you go to the bathroom a lot I thought I would have a bowel more but I actually 
urinated more on the cleanse than anything. Like literally every hour, maybe twice an hour, sometimes three. So yeah, that, you know, of course, you would go to the bathroom a whole, whole lot. Um, I did notice that it was changing my mood swings because I, I was kind of up and down in my emotions and in my mood. So it did change that for me. Um, also, it started to change um, my sleep pattern. So I would notice because I'm, I'm not a big sleeper. I would sleep about four to five hours and then I'm up. But I noticed when I was drinking the tea that I would get longer sleep and I would sleep longer and it would be more fulfilling because when I wake up I would feel more refreshed I didn't have that normal headache that I normally have when I wake up because I haven't gotten enough sleep so that was a plus for me um, and then after I did that I immediately jumped into the PCOS T taking it it is not nowhere near as bad as the cleanse T um, it's a light taste so because i think i did the cleanse first i was able to take that taste it's not bad at all um it was easy didn't take much to do um do the same thing 32 ounces a day steep it at night drink it in the morning and it was easy for me with that um i started noticing that when i started taking the pcos tea that i still i still have the facial hair but it's not as much and it doesn't grow as fast as it normally does when I wasn't taking the tea. Um, I also noticed that my cycle had changed like it wasn't like really really heavy like it normally is. Um, it was it was comfortable for me and it like I said it wasn't really heavy. Right now I am waiting for my cycle to come on again. I am at currently cycle day 29 and I'm waiting for cycle day one to start over again so that I can go ahead and schedule my HSG test. My doctor wants me to do a HSG test. And for those who don't know what that is, um, it is a, I don't want to butcher the name. I'm sorry. I was about to say it, but I feel like I'm going to butcher it. <laughs> but it is a test where they put like a blue contrast up through your cervix and it goes up into your uh, fallopian tubes and everything to see if there's any blockage or anything um, just to see if there's um, one tube is larger than the other. So um, I have to schedule that within six to 12 days of my cycle. So once my cycle first start, that's when my doctor wants me to call and actually schedule this test. So I'm gonna get that done. I'm excited about this test because I've did a lot of research on it to know what to expect, you know, how to prep. And a lot of people have said after they had this test that for some reason that they actually conceived, meaning because maybe whatever was blocked, um, it kind of flushed them out. So I'm really excited about the, getting the test done and I'm just waiting um, to schedule that. I've started doing exercise because my doctor said I do need to lose weight in order to be able to um, conceive sooner. So currently um, trying to come up with a weight loss regimen. Um, I wouldn't say regimen, but just come up with, you know, something that works for me and my schedule because um, I'm in school and I also work full time. So and then I have my side business that I do with baking so it is extremely um, overwhelming sometimes with all the stuff that I have to do so I know um, exercise sometimes is the la at the last of my list but I know it needs to be at the forefront of my list because it is important I need to get it done there's things that I got to do um, in order to conceive this baby so I'm definitely looking forward to um, bringing you guys some more videos. Now, I am going to do a blog when I go to do my HSG test. Just for those who haven't done it, um, I'm going to get as much coverage as I can. I don't know if they allow me to film while I'm in there. At least film myself and my reaction while, you know, I'm getting it done. I don't necessarily have to film the doctor, but just 
my reaction so you can see you know most people thought oh it doesn't hurt but if it does you'll be able to see firsthand you know while i'm there so i'll try to do that um also what's been going on with you guys i mean leave me some comments let me know um where you are in your journey of trying to conceive oh and then i'm going to um put in another video what i'm actually using now and my doctor said it's really good just to track my ovulation so um that's enough of this video i promise i wasn't going to make it really really long so i'll come back with another video um and then we'll talk about what i'm doing as far as tracking my ovulation okay so um please comment like and subscribe i want to get this channel out to as many people as possible ladies because there are so many people who are suffering in silent silence so many women that are suffering in silence with pcos feeling that they're alone feeling that they're the only ones who are going through this but i want them to know that we are here there is a support group there are people who are going through the same things that they're going through and that are looking for answers um i don't claim to have all the answers i don't claim to know all the answers but what i do know i'm willing to share with the world so i need you guys to share 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 like comment and subscribe Thank you guys. Um, I'm sorry I've been gone so long, but I am going to do better. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.